It's time once again for the Real People Multi-Game Solitaire Mega Tournament, where we have just about gone through. All of these people have played one game so far, except for three. And those three are Dancing Bear, Ka, as in Cat, and Sid. And so, we're going to do a three-player game, and what's the better three-player game than Neanderthal? Let's go play Neanderthal with Dancing Bear, Cat, as in Cat, and Sid right now. This is exciting for me because this is Neanderthal, the love child of Origins, How We Became Human, and Greenland, both games that I very much enjoy, um, which are very different. This game is also very different from both of those games, even though you might see it and you might be like, oh, there's a brain map. It's just like Origins, How We Became Human. Oh, there are these rows of cards where you kind of hunt hunt game. Uh, that's very much like Greenland, but it's very different. Um, I think even even how the brain map works um, in, in Origins How We Became Human is very different than how it works in Neanderthal. So one of the biggest things I think it takes from this game takes from Origins How We Became Human is how it um, juggling. So in Origins you're juggling cubes from place to place. Uh, you're not literally, it's not a dexterity game, but you cubes do different things depending on where they are. Uh, this game does that as well. Your cubes are always going to be like a unit, but they're a different type of unit based on where they are. So if your cube's up here, it's an elder, it, just kind of like in Origins, though in Origins this goes in a little bubble. Um, if your cube is, oh, well down here it's an unassigned hunter. If it's on a daughter card, which you'll this is a daughter card, the event here that I drew will turn it into a daughter card. Uh, if it's on there, it's a husband, so so on and so forth. These discs, however, so it's got it's got the cube juggling. It also has disc juggling. So these discs do different things based on where they are. So if they're on here, this is your sexuality. Uh, players defined by their their. Well, I don't think these are that different actually. Um, which is something that's different than Greenland. The players don't start off that different. The main difference is actually your sexuality. Um, so here we have Danimal. He's a big man. Uh, he has harem holding. So he has different victory conditions and certain of his discs are going to just be held there as long as he maintains that sexuality. You can change sexuality through chaos and also through particular daughter cards. Uh, Kaz and Cat She's pair bonding. She doesn't have any of them held up, so she has more discs to play with, which is going to be an advantage that's going to make it less likely for her to go into chaos, and um, you know she's going to be able to do more things. So discs on here are just kind of held off to the side. Discs in the brain map, this is how it's different than Origins, don't act as closed doors. They act as openings, okay? So they're called portals, I believe. And so if it's on here, it's actually a good thing for you generally. It's going to allow you to do more stuff and promote different types of elders and things like that, which elders are nice because they give you other sorts of abilities. Um, however, now she doesn't have a disc here. You're supposed to start with one here. Uh, she doesn't have one because that's her sports benefit. I didn't want to do too, mu too much thought on the benefits. But this here, if there's a disc here, that means it's immature, so this elder can't do anything yet. If you get a daughter, you're going to bid to get it, you're going to get put discs on the daughter, and that means it's immature, so then the disc is more like kind of a closed door in that case. So you have to hunt animals and whatnot to get those discs back, and then, so there's this kind of chain. So you, uh, oh yeah, I, I should finish telling you with all the, with, if the discs are here, that's your vocabulary. That uh, Having a certain amount in your vocabulary keeps you from being in chaos. You want more than you have people and it also allows you to hunt in different biomes. Okay, I had to stop myself. I didn't want to blather endlessly. Here we have our event. Let's go through what this is. Um, specialized weather forecasters would have been invaluable for determining food and kindling provisions for migrations and overwintering. So it doesn't really say what the event is. Uh, I guess it's just a bunch of stuff happens. So first we're going to have, let's see, that icon means global cooling. So we're going to put some ice on the lowest climax. That's something you, a uh, word you might remember, the word climax from American Megafauna. There's a lot of like intermixing in Eklund's games, which is fun. And then this is going to go down here and displace that. 
Not gonna, it's gonna go out of the game. And then we have the chaos thing. That's the chaos symbol. If you see that, be afraid for our friends because we don't want them to go into chaos. No one's gonna start off in chaos though. You have what you need to start off. It's when you start messing with yourself and messing with your population that uh, you can go nuts. This symbol here, uh, means you have to have a you have to it's time to support who you have so here are earners basically our unassigned hunters this elder here is a dependent if there were any daughters without unmarried daughters those would also be dependents so you have to have two of these for every one of those we got that it's not a problem again you start off fine you're you're fresh as a baby okay now we got to roll because of this icon to see which elders are de deaded or not deaded not deaded now we're rolling for danimal not deaded sid no their fire starters are all alive um and then if anyone had died from the chaos um there would have been wanderlust but we'll explain that if that comes up so now everyone's got to auction this is the part of the game i dislike the most i don't like doing auctions in general and i don't like doing auctions solitaire um, I'm just going to say that, get it out of the way. I was kind of happy when I played Pax Pamir recently, which I guess is not totally an Eklund game, that it seemed like he was moving away from auctions to doing the thing where you just put coins down g going up the ladder. But this game, back to auctions again. I, I guess it's... I guess it's kind of necessary with the events, maybe. But no, no, I've seen it, I, I've seen it done. You can have events cards double as uh, goods cards or whatever, or dollar cards. But, <laughs> so this is a great one to start off. It's a weather whisper. It protects people's fire starter from getting uh, killed off. Now there's a lot of events that come up that will kill off the fire starter if you roll a six. It's, it's, this is a nice one to have early on because getting, you know, trying to keep that, the fire starter's ember going is about as hard as keeping a fire's ember going. It can be a total headache. So we gotta do some bidding. Uh, it's important to color here, white. Um, and here's a big, uh, a big thing that the, the starting position is gonna, gonna change for people. So if you put a white one on there, it's a lot easier to get those white, white chips. Oh, so, so I, I gotta explain how bidding works. You bid from your vocabulary, okay? And so say Danimal bids one white and no one else bids, then he gets it. Um, he'll put that on there. He can't use the daughter until he gets that white chip off. He can get that white chip off either by, um, you know, as as a reward for hunting something. Can you see that? Yeah. Okay. Um, or, as a, at the end of the round, the last thing is you get to do one action. Okay. And it's just kind of a special action. Usually, it's it's something your elder lets you do, or or you can do Neolexia, which um, lets you remove a chip of something that you have in your brain. Okay. So since he has a white chip in his brain, which is the nature dom nature domain he can remove that um, so he has kind of an advantage in the bidding in that sense is what I'm trying to say very long-windedly um, who else has an advantage is Sid because she is going to be first player that means that she would win any ties so if she bids one Danimal has to bid two if he bids one she could just bid one and still be beating him so that's that's nice for her so I'm gonna go through this frickin auction you're welcome. All right, Kaz and Cat took it for three. Danimal also bid three, but um, she would win the tie on that because she's second. This is how I play it. I think you're just supposed to go clockwise from the first player, but I just go in the order of that. It doesn't matter to me how they're seated. Um, so uh, Sid had an inborn restriction in her bidding because she she only has she has fewer discs to start out with than everyone else because a lot of her vocabulary is used up in being promiscuous um the animals problem well, well people could only bid white on it so and he was limited to to three since he has a disc up here and a disc there so Cad just had more than he had. Um, it looks like it shouldn't be too hard to get those discs off there's a fairly easy um prey up here which gets off a disc. Uh, it's going to take her three turns though or so. Everything else that gets off the white discs removes the white head. Oh no, there's another one. Yeah. So if she splits up her things between both of these carcasses, um, she can get 
couple white discs this turn. So now people are going to assign where their cubes are going to go. Now, remember this daughter, this Weather Whisperer, is not going to be able to do anything until these discs are off. And also, she can't use its, uh, she can't marry a, a cube to it. It's nice to marry cubes to things because they don't count against your population for um, chaos, but they do still count as points. People are points. So Sid is going to assign her people first. Normally she could assign someone to be an elder, but she doesn't have any spots open that she qualifies for. You have to have certain configurations of discs in your brain to have that particular type of elder. So she's looking at her thing. What does she want to get? She doesn't want to get a lot more babies because she only has uh, seven vocabulary and she has six, six people here. She would like her fire starter to be able to be used though. So she's going to go for something that takes off of a black, even though she can do that as an action. She just doesn't really have a lot else to do right now. She could go for this as a trophy, but she's going, going all in on this because this has a nice technology that she could use later, which will help her uh, hunt small game. So she has to get three of a kind. That's something that was introduced in Green, Greenland, the idea of three of a kind. And then she gets to take the card and a new biome will come out. Now it's uh, Danimal's turn. Danimal, what does he want to do? Well, he wants to get a, his black disc off as well. And his only way of doing that would be to probably go against her here. They would have to fight and then see who hunts first or who, who gets to do it first. Now since she hunts first, I believe, she would probably get it before him and that would not be helpful. So he's instead going to think about getting some more babies because he has a you know substantially larger vocabulary. Well, not substantially, three larger vocabulary. He can afford to get some babies and not worry about cast. So there's a wild boar there, which would, might be nice to, it's possible he could domesticate it if he got lucky. Um, an Irish elk that would get that wouldn't be too bad. It would he would have to get three hits though. Hits are on a one or two in this case. That would be kind of tricky with only th with six cubes. Um, I think the two hits is better. Yeah, I think he'll do that. Then maybe he can go for that Irish elk in the future. But that, you don't want to get too many babies though, because you lose half your population if you go into chaos. And we have Kaz and Cat. Uh, but the geep burp. She needs to get off those white things. We already talked about what she's going to do. We don't have to think about it again. Ba-boom, ba-boom. All right, now, if they were in the same place, they, they this would be the time when they would fight. They're not, so we're just going to roll through it. Now we're going to roll some dice. Unlike Greenland, there are no diary rolls, so this actually is pretty quick. This game sets up quick, too. Um, okay, so she got... Ooh, she almost got three of a kind. We're rolling for Sid right now. But she did get that hit that she needed. She got two, actually. Now, oh, she's promiscuous, too. So this is actually not that great for, well, it's okay. But she's right up to her limit now. Uh, she's a gatherer. If you're promiscuous, you get to gather. If you're not promiscuous, you don't get to gather. I guess it just comes with being part of Mother, Mother Earth, you know. Mother Earth gives you the food. You're cool with everyone. You all get down together. It's awesome. Um, but... Apparently your vocabulary is limited, even though I just said a lot of words. Uh, so that's what happens there. They go back. Doesn't get the technology. Wouldn't be able to play it for a while anyway. Uh, so not too bad, not too bad. Oh, and the disc comes off. Oh, okay, so now she's got capacity for one more. Uh, and her fire starter is working. What does a fire starter do? Uh, during chaos, no elder loss. And round down. Round losses down. You don't lose your elders. And you round down instead so of round up. You get to make new elders without having to do the thing where you put a disc under them. That's great. And, uh, let's see, these frostbite things, that means you die on a six. You don't die on a six because you got a fire. It's not that cold. All right, let's roll for the Danimal. Whoa, you got three of a kind. And the wild boar can't kill you. He doesn't get any babies out of it, but... Watch this. That goes there. Now, I don't think he can domesticate it until he gets to be a tribal person. So he's got to get some discs up there. The way to get discs in, in here is through your daughters. Your daughters make your brain work. All right. There's a horse. 
All right, now we're going to roll for this carcass. That's two sixes and a one. There's no death from those sixes. She gets a baby and a disc comes off. Okay, that's a success. Roll for this next carcass. A four, five, and a two. That's going to do it because we need a one or a two. She gets a baby and a disc comes off. Great. I think there was a, that was a pretty successful turn. It's time for a new daughter slash event. Let's see what the event is first. The first elements of speech and grammar were intentional calls modified on the basis of intensity. All right. So we're going to get another ice sheet. This is kind of similar to the last one we got, right? That was yesterday. I, my schedule is such that it's, it's very difficult to find times to do this, but I'm doing it now. And that's time to do this. Okay, so this is going to go back over here. Same drill as before. I'll get back to you in a moment. That was literally a moment because I had to roll this elder loss thing and it would have um, made Cat, as in Cat, lose her, her prize fire starter. But then I remembered she has the weather whisperer. And the weather whisperer knew about the blizzard. That's what uh, I guess this is. Maybe a blizzard that's going to kill the fire. Oh, no, no, no. She's carrying the ember. Sorry. I got all uh, turned around. It's very early in the morning for me. Um, yeah. And so she was able to protect the fire starter's ember of life and carry it on in perpetuity. She, she's not going to lose this. Oh, no, no, no. I forgot. Two things. She does lose it. One, because um, she's pair bonding. So for the weather whisperer to even do anything, it has to be married. She has to be married. And also, it's immature. See, I, I, I just kind of speak before I think so often. And I inflict so much loss of time on whoever might be listening to this. And I must atone for those sins and try, try harder. I've atoned. Now I have to try harder. Now it's time for another fucking auction. This time it's the vigilant woman though, and she she seems like she might be pretty pretty worth auctioning for. That's really weird that you auction for daughters. Uh, you know, above and beyond the fact that auctions are just excruciating um, opportunities for like, you know, I. I Anyway, I'll, I'll stop talking about auctions, but well, except to say you're auctioning off people here, uh, and I don't know what that means in terms of this game. Um, I know what like rolling to hunt means. That that makes sense to me, uh, but I don't I don't understand like how are these people? I, I guess you're putting your like vocabulary into creating new cultural streams, and those streams are embodied by a woman. Right? So it's, it's not objectifying, it's like materializing cultural ideals and people. Right? She, the, I think, I, I mean, I, I see the daughters as representative, but then at the same, you know, they're an abstraction of of some cultural ideal, but then what's the marriage all about? Because these are like distinct units, right? That are carried on over the centuries. Um, but then they get married and they can get married for, it's just the, the time scales are weird. And also the, yeah, it's, but you know, it's, it's a semi-abstract art, I guess. Uh, so vigilant woman, we got to auction this off. Uh, what does she do? She she makes it so that non predatory pre Okay, so normally when you when you go after one of these spear type animals, if you win, the nearest predator is going to come attack you, and then you have to fight that predator off. Um, and so that that makes it kind of tricky because a lot of times these these spear type animals they're big game. Um, you know, you have to get a fair number of successes in the first place. And like, so if you go after the step bison, you might actually lose a couple, a couple people in the process. So you lose your initial hunters. And then lo, here comes this European cave lion to attack you. She's vigilant. She sees that lion coming. She's like, get out, guys. There's a lion coming. And then they run away. So before the lion can come. Because if you don't beat this and the lion, then 
you can beat this, and then the lion can come and take all your spoils, which is five babies and some discs. Yeah, so she's pretty good. The Danimal took the, the Vigilant Woman for two technical language vocabulary, uh, technical vocabulary chips. Um, and then everyone assigned their things. Now, we're seeing not a lot of interplay right now, mainly because none of our daughters are, um, are, are mature yet. They're immature daughters because they have these chips on them, and so no one can try to marry them. You know, a lot of times what will happen is people will see your daughter and they will want to marry your daughter and they will put their cubes down. Um, Sid has a, a particular um, motivation for doing that, which we will see later when that comes into play. But right now, that's not in play. Um, Daniel wants to get rid of these black discs. And so he's looking out on the, the field here. All his options for doing that are big game. Uh, not that one with these big spears here. And he does not think he could take the big game and also take that European cave lion because, again, his vigilant woman is not let ma yet mature. In order to mature, he needs the black discs. But in order to get the black discs, he needs to have her. So he's doing kind of a risky move here. He's putting all in against this cave bear. Now, this cave bear is very dangerous. You don't want to hunt a cave bear with six hunters necessarily, but there's not a lot else he feels like he could do. He could... Um, you know, he could go, well, yeah, I don't know. He could just try to get more babies, but he doesn't want that many more babies. He has only has eight in his vocabulary. Um, if he takes this bear, he's, he's probably going to lose some guys, but then he'll get four babies. So he's going out on a limb. Um, what are the rest of the people doing? Well, Kaz and Kat, she's trying to get rid of this one last white chip. She put all in on one vulture uh, or one carcass um, in hopes that maybe she'll get this bone addle addle. Uh, Sid has nothing to do really. She doesn't really want babies, so she's just gonna, she's going all in here just hoping maybe she'll get um, tailored clothes, uh, which I don't even know what it does. She's like, I'll do something. Um, people are avoiding fighting each other. If you're on the same card, you have to fight each other. Uh, no one wants to break that, that, that kind of ice yet. So let's do the rolls. You wanna, you wanna see the rolls live on video. Video rolls. Here we go. Ooh, 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 Nope, not enough. Not enough. Sorry, Danimal. Did I mention Danimal's going first? See that? He had two six, uh, three successes. No, yeah, God, what am I thinking? That was actually very good. Um, I think I was thinking just once. That cat, I don't know if you, can you hear that cat that just keeps meowing at the door? I don't let the cats come in here because then they jump up on the game and they bat things around. I've lost one of my cubes from Origins How We Became Human from the cats. And I don't want to lose anything else. Um, so, well done. He only lost two. And he gets, oh, but no. Now he has to, no, no he doesn't. <sighs> okay. So, this doesn't go away. I don't know why I keep trying to take that. He lost two, but he gained four. So that's going to put him at exactly at eight. That couldn't have been better. Uh, his vigilant woman is now mature. He's got two more in his vocabulary. That was perfect. Perfect, perfect. And so now he can go ahead and hunt other, other big game animals and not have to worry about that European cave lion. Let's do some more video rolls. Um, next up is going to be Kaz and Cat. See if she can successfully get meat from this carcass. She successfully got meat from the carcass. She didn't, oh, and she did get the bone addle addle. This is a very blessed occasion, uh, this particular turn. So that's gonna go into her hand and whenever she gets like a trapper or a napper, she can put it into play. And then what does that do? All your hunters are war parties. That's great. That means, um, I think it means if you are going against a club, you hit on a one or a two, uh, no matter what, I think. Uh, look at that. And then if you're going against big game, you hit on a one. So that's going to be great for this kind of field if she can get that out because there's a lot of big game. And she doesn't have to worry so much about the predator because she's a war party. Um, let's do this final roll here. Oh, we got to replace this. Flint mine. Let's do one more video roll. 
And then maybe I should wrap it up. I don't know. Not really a... Maybe it's good to end on a, a happy note. We'll end with this video roll and um, I'll upload it to the internet. Okay. So we got two threes. And we don't have we don't have the three of a kind Sid was looking for. So Sid is really losing out the most so far in this game. It's hard to be promiscuous, but I bet she's having a lot of fun. Uh, so she's gonna get a baby though. It's one baby. That's about what she wants. She's got eight there. That's gonna give her not a lot of choices for next round, however, because well she's really gotta well no, actually she'll have some choices in um in terms of these new daughters out there, she's gonna to want to send out some some suitors uh, to try and to try and knock up some daughters. Now, what's gonna happen for her? And this is what she's been waiting for: is if she's successful in marrying them, she's promiscuous. She doesn't believe in marriage, you know. So she's just gonna her cube instead of sitting there and being all married to the vigilant woman is just gonna come back over, and then there will be a new baby sitting in Danimal's camp. So, um, what's, what's nice about that is that baby that's, that's going to grow up to be a man uh, is going to serve as a point for Sid until the end of the game, as long as it stays there. But Dan will probably, you know, if it takes losses, will probably choose that baby. Um, but it also adds to his population in terms of chaos. So, he's not getting credit for it. You want to have hunters to do stuff. But if you, hunters are also kind of a problem because... They can pull you into chaos. So there you go. All right. We'll see what happens next time on the Real People Multi-Game Solitaire Mega Tournament. Neanderthal.